in this episode I'm hunting with Dan Gould from Central Queensland. So this trip and before I start I say any more don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell okay so please stop what you're doing go hit that subscribe and bell. So first of all I met Dan through I put a post up on the Facebook page okay so if you haven't subscribed to the face or liked the Facebook page and the group go have a look please okay go hit it like, share on the Facebook page and Instagram. So I had met Dan through Facebook uh, and Instagram probably, I'd say, two years ago. Dan is a, a great guy, um, one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, and gen generosity is just un unbelievable. Um, this is uh, the first video I'm doing right now, and we'll, um, this is number two. So... I'm not going to show you this video, that video, or anything like that until you see the next video. So this video, I headed up. I drove all the way up to, uh, we'll say, Maryborough Way, and we, I headed inland. And I met up with the halfway point with Dan at his parents' place. So the rain had just come. It was a lot of rain. It was um, water everywhere, but we thought, stuff it. Um, the way his business is being busy and the way my job is and kids, uh, we just got to get it done. So, um, you know, why not? Just go for a hunt and see how it would go. Um, and I got, I'm got i so pleased we did. Uh, it was a, an interesting weekend. Uh, memories, beautiful scenery. The, uh, the scenery is magical, very pretty place. Uh, we worked very, very hard for some pigs and we, we probably just missed a few by a couple of hours, um, but that's how it is. So firstly, I started off, I, we met up there. Then I met up with his brother and his cousins, cousin, I should say, and his mate, Phil. So Phil had the one ute and Dan had the other ute. And we all jumped into Phil's ute once we got there. We did a bit of night hunting. It was a full moon, lots of rain and water around, but we were pretty lucky we had no rain through that night. Didn't come up with anything that night. And the dogs had a few jumps, but nothing was too serious. And um, with all that water around, we knew this pigs and the weekend was going to be pretty hard. So we slept in. Uh, no, sorry, we didn't sleep in. We hopped on the next morning very early and headed out. So we headed out and we came across some beautiful scenery. Now, Dan's hunted this country his whole life and um, he knew all the ins and outs. And it was pretty cool to go and see uh, this place. So again, we came up with nothing. Now it was starting to get a little bit stressful for Dan, um, but I said to him, I don't care about that. I'm just happy to get outdoors and go out and see the world. That's all I want to do is just come out and go for a hunt. You know, I don't care, I don't catch anything. But we end up having a little barbecue down at, um, on the water, at the water's edge. And um, we had the nicest little pork roast from, I think it was Aldi, I think it was. Are you ready? Feels good. Woo! Perfect. And uh, it was beautiful. A couple of beers and had a little bit of a swim. Uh, chuck the drone up, have a fly around. The sand was bloody hot. You could have cooked the pork roast on the sand. Uh, but great little pork roast uh, on a bit of bread and a couple of beers. That's all you asked for. Yeah. Looks alright to me. Look at that, that's perfection. Love the makeshift uh, cutting board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The the sweet sweet uh, had a, that nice little break beers and the and the bit of pork roast on the in the side of the river. That afternoon, Dan wanted to go back to a certain spot because we knew we just missed a pig. So, and I wanted to f chuck the drone up and have a look around. Awesome drone footage area. Um, I hope I get a little bit, a bit more footage for you. Um, but I didn't use a huge amount. It was just such a pretty spot and I couldn't get over it. Sadly, we came up with nothing that afternoon. And it was starting to be one of those weekends where we were starting to get a little bit stressed. Um, but again, I kept saying to Dan, don't stress, mate. I don't care if we don't catch a pig. It's about having a look at the scenery, having a look around, meeting new people, 
and I'm so glad I did. I got to meet Dan, Tegan, the kids, and uh, Ryan, and Phil, and I, I'm so glad I did because it's just a top top family and top bunch of blokes and, and ladies just to stay. So we play the dogs up the next morning, and we're heading out to Dan's. Oh, he he says it's favourite spot, but I think he's got a few of those because um, this spot was pretty pretty hot and low. So what's Lucy? She's a um, bully catahoula. Bully catahoula, okay. How old is she? Uh, she'll be like, probably getting closer to, she'll be four and sort of mid next year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, what's this big box here looking like? He's a Arab pointer. So, He's like, a new but isn't he? Yeah, I only, I only got him last Saturday, so he's only got him early for a week. Fresh on the team, so. Still got a newbie. Only stripes, but see how we go. Anyway, awesome. Hopefully, get get him on one this morning. Yeah, let's go get one. Uh, well, the dogs jumps basically at the, at the gate, just gone straight off. Um, his main dog Lucy, she's um, pretty reliable. She's caught some big pigs over her time, so I was pretty excited to see her in action. And the dogs took off at max speed. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's a dog. What's happened, Dan? We were just driving along. The dogs were on the side of the ute, and I reckon it was almost instantaneous. I said, it looks like something's been walking through the dew there. And the next thing, all the dogs are through their head up and just floated down in that gully. They're only, they're only about 400. It's a long way to run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not built for speed, eh? Come on, what are you doing? Was a high pitched bark, or so. yeah, it's like he's like, like it's either like super fresh, or he's just like seen something, like. And let out a little yip of excitement. But it's just weird how Lucy's not going that shape. That's always good, I reckon, eh? Show us again. I reckon they might go like that. And oh, yeah. He's barking. Is that him or a bird? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm too on edge for this, <laughs> She's caught some big pigs over her time, so I was pretty excited to see her in action. And the dogs took off at max speed, and I thought, here we go, we're on. Anyway, they came up empty-handed, but they knew. I feel like we just missed him probably by half an hour, 40 minutes, and I just, you can see the sign was so fresh. Um, Property's been so small out there, we couldn't get them on go too far. So Dan said to me, we're going to go for a walk and we're going to head into this into this area where it's a swampy, marshy land, but it was really weird. It was, it was a different kind of... It actually reminded me a lot like Cape York. You walk in, it's a fair bit going on. So have a watch of this and see what you reckon. So what you doing? It's just like like one spot, just backwards and forwards. So he's not trail barking. I think he, I think he is. Yeah. He's trail barking, yeah. Trail squeaking. Yeah, squeaky <laughs> toys. He <It> sounds <laughs> like it. So the trip had ended, I basically packed up and said, well, not much we can do about that. I had to go back to work. And um, like I said then, I, I didn't care. We didn't catch anything. I was, I, I'm over the moon when we do. 
So I don't care if we don't catch any because I was great, very grateful to meet everyone and, and make good mates with Dan. And you know, that comes out to the second trip, which this is all about. So, um, yeah, anyway, I, <laughs> I was on the way home uh, and Dan was on the way home at the same time. And Dan sent me a message saying, you wouldn't believe what I just seen. So they got up the road about 50 k's, he said, and there's a couple of pigs sitting on the side of the road. So that's hunting for you. There's not much you can do about that. It's um, just the way it is, like, sadly, and it's just how it goes. Um, Dan ended up going out uh, a couple of days later and um, went home back to mum and dad's and this is the pig they got. Look at That's a boy. That's a boy. Good boy, Flip. Get him. Get him, Flip. Get him, Flip. Get him. Get him. Here, Flip. Flip. Flip, I want him, get on him, get on him, get on him, flip, block him, block him, get him, get him, get him, flip. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Here, get him. seen that pig there and um, Dan's got a, a block up at Central Queensland which he goes to regularly and um, here's the other fella they got real good pig um, Dan's running a couple of bailers and uh, his mates got a couple of luggers so the dogs bail it up and they come in and finish it off <laughs> Great work to Dan for catching pigs, and um, well, I hope you stay tuned for the next episode and see what happens because it's 